I'm going to start by asking you a question that I think everybody would like to know. Um, what are wearing? What are you wearing today? <laughs> um, I'm wearing Lanvin clothes, mm. and this is a cherry hat from Alain Journon, which is Italian actually. It's an Italian brand. It's a really old, old. It's from eighty. It's a shop in Via Spiga, Milano. He it, uh, it did always this kind of incredible, hilarious hat. And plus he's selling Phil Tracy, Stephen Jones, uh, all this uh, British hat. There's a lot of, a lot of century stuff in his um, shop. And uh, I have uh, Manolo Blani shoes. And uh, this is my bag, uh, uh, Roberta Di Camerino, which is Italian, old Italian brand. Uh, really, really interesting because it's come from Venice. It's uh, all about color and uh, the tapestry because they make in tapestry in different color. Um, it's called Roberta di Camerino. That's it. And Bulgari necklace. This is also part of the Bulgari necklace. It's dressing yourself the same as styling for a magazine. I used to mm, dress the models before. I used to work uh, as, as a model for 20 years almost. But I was obsessed about fashion forever. Then, now it's simple because uh, I project myself in a model, <laughs> and uh, I stylize me. I uh, was I used to stylize the model, or it's a kind of transfer. But of course, now then I feel more, really more secure. I feel more uh, supported by my splendid blogger. My f people then talk to me. I f um, I can f feel better, and uh, I also can push for it. Then it's a kind of evolution of my style. What I learned from all um, the shooting that I did, I transferred to me. But I always thinking, like you go to the dentist, if the dentist doesn't have a beautiful white tea, I mean, the, what the dentist is, no? You, I mean, you should be part, you should put before the, your, your passion and yourself before translate the passion to other people or to, other, to your work, in any case. So do you kind of see it as part of your job to project this sort of image? No, it's my first of all job to make myself <laughs> up <laughs> to be photographer for me. Now this is my, my goal, I mean, this is, my, is a really a job. Because uh, it's like, uh, when, for example, starting the fashion week, it's, it's, uh, for me it's like having uh, the best shooting, the big, serious, big, big shooting, I prepare myself, I start, I used to prepare myself, I used to pull all the outfit before now, because it's like a job, but on me, yes, of course, it's a, they go together, mm -hmm. work and uh, style, they go together. When did you first become interested yeah. in fashion? I born with that, because um, I, I can tell you, my, I was obsessed by fashion since I was a kid, because I was looking for amazing clothes, amazing accessories, amazing jewelry since I was a, a baby. I tell you when it's at least starting, um, start, I mean, starting right away, but I was at 11 uh, and my father said, okay, what do you want as a present? And I said to me, I said to him, father, I would like to have a bag, but not just a bag, a set of Fendi, set Fendi bag. He said to me, okay, let's go to the shop because it used to be in Bari, a beautiful shop of Fendi. Marisemma call. Uh, at that time it was 80, 80 time. Then it was Fendi logo mania. Okay, I said, okay, father, I would like to have the, the bag, I would like to have the wally, I would like to have the scarf, I would like to have the key where you put the key. Mm. I would like to have the umbrella. My father said, the umbrella? Where do you go with the umbrella? Here in Bari, never rain. It's such an out country. He said, no, I go to school tomorrow with the, all the city with the umbrella. And my father said, the umbrella? Why you bring the umbrella? He said, father, it's part of the look. And I went to, at the school with all this thing, 11 years, with the umbrella, FFF, all, all, all uh, set of Fendi. And people, all my friend, still make a joke on me and say, where are you going with that? I said, listen, it's part of the look. I was so fierce about this um, set. Then I also, they make a joke on me, but I didn't feel it, I didn't want to listen to, because I was, feel so like, ah, that's it, set me my life. You know, I'm so obsessed by logo. I was, I was grew up in the 80s style then, 
uh, obsessed by gold, logos, flashy stuff, uh, um, a statement, ro you know, golden, chunky, Rolex. You know, I was obsessed, obsessed by all these items, really uh, flashy, really sure of that was that was about. So that's kind of that's the start of the obsession, and that's the first sort of fashion moment. Yeah, and I'd say why not. <laughs> And when, so when did you get started in the industry? Uh, yeah, allora, my obsession is, was uh, really big, 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 big. Then uh, I was studied, yeah, I was finished my um, university, I studied historical art, and I was thinking I should work in a fashion because uh, absolutely I will get sick if I don't do. And uh, in Bari, my country, uh, is, is, there was too much fashion, big fashion uh, worker. Then, the only possibilities was open a, a shop and I said to my father maybe father maybe I should open a shop and father said so open a shop are you crazy go for it you should be a journalist a uh, shop is the limited job and I said okay say okay I allora I, I have to leave I go to Milan and said my father say he always support me because he always is psychiatric my father my father understand understood really quickly that she's crazy for fashion and she has to go for it. And she said, okay, let's go to, let's go to Milan after university. And that, that's I did it. I went to Milan to do Domus Academy with my teacher, it was Gianfranco Ferrer at the time. Yes, and we have, uh, we, we, I got the fashion um, F um, master in fashion. This was a school about fashion and design. Um, and after that, I start, uh, I start working yeah, right away with uh, Franca Sozzani, an Italian Vogue which is another big appointment in my life, it was Franca, because she made me. What kind of influence did that have on you, do you think? I told you, it was a golden age of uh, Italian fashion. This was a moment, incredible moment. I was so lucky to meet Franca. I remember that when I did the interview with her, she said to me, you would love to, you, you, would, like, you would like to do Italian movies. I said, that's my love, like that. Uh, she said to me, uh, there is also, a, um, it's not just uh, beautiful, uh, there is also a terrific part of the job. I said, oh, I'm ready to. And she said, okay, tomorrow you start. She made my, she made my profession, she made me. Because it, she's an incredible talent in fashion. She's, for me, is the, mm, mostly the top of the world. And she made, she, I worked next to her for 18 years because I spent 12 years in Italian Vogue and then six years in Romo Vogue, but next to her. Then everything I learned about professional, about images, about uh, fashion, about how to make magazines, uh, whatever, how to do business, I learned from Franca. And also I was uh, so lucky to be uh, involved in that moment because uh, I you say Italy at that moment was incredibly creatively massive fashion uh, moment because it was the mo um, um, Dolce Gabbana was start and was starting in a fantastic way. For example, it was all by well, the golden age of uh, Versace, Armani, uh, Ferré, uh, Missoni. I worked with Daniel Newton, which is for me it was a. a incredible experience. I learned so much from him. I used to work with, uh, with many, many one. Uh, Paolo Roversi, Peter Lindbergh, uh, um, Stephen Maisel, Tim Walker. Uh, but just to tell, you, um, to tell you some of them, but there is a, a bunch of incredible photographers that we work with. Then, for me, it was the best school. I, uh, the tough best school. But I gave all my life. I spent 18 year, I didn't have any <laughs> small few holiday, no, um, fr no family, no f children. You know, I spent all my life in that uh, uh, moment. Then, I think uh, it's memorable, memorable moment. Now, what I would really like to talk about, Anna, is your perfume. Can you tell me a bit about it? Yeah, I mean the story is hilarious. As I said before, is um, I like talking uh, by metaphor to make people understand me better. I mean, this is like my metaphor, like Cinderella metaphor, because I was a joke, I was a, a joke with Ronnie Newhouse. Ronnie Newhouse defined me inside their fashion reality star. And she said to me, ah, you made your, you, no, you are a new fashion uh, star, you internet icon. 
you should do a perfume. I said to her, yeah, Droni, why not? I should do a perfume. Yeah, beyond, she said, beyond. I said, beyond is perfect because beyond any imagination, beyond any, any fantasy up in the perfume. That's why we was joking. And I said, well, yeah, we, I will, I will do it. And I play in my blog. I put it the, this, like a wish. Like I say, okay, let's wish I have a perfume. And I, it's a voice like a joke. And, um, and now, when I put on my blog, my people come to me. Some people come to me and say, oh, that's incredible. I want the perfume. Where did it come out? And that's happened. And that's why I make a work in progress because people come to me, and I will tell you who, uh, to say, absolutely, we had to do this perfume. The idea is like a Cinderella, Cinderella shoes, because I used to be Cinderella, working hard beyond the, in the kitchen. And then finally, I was invited to the prince to go to the ball. <laughs> then the perfume is a perfect metaphor of that. Then internet can make change your life, can make you in a new, in a new visibility, give you new uh, possibility, option, chance, life. That's why I say, okay, if I do this, my the perfume has to be just in in selling internet because I want to please all the people. Then give me this chance to be Cinderella finally to go to the to the prince, and uh, that's why the my I did uh, I will do the, the perfume with Ux.com. Yeah, in, I did already with them the mm, t-shirt, mm. the ten t-shirt which is, was a, such a great challenge because it was selling like you and, and, and I decided to make the perfume with them b b selling on Christmas because uh, they represent to me the new era of uh, e-commerce uh, they made it it's so modern contemporary uh, of course the Italian Federico is a friend of mine is a genius and uh, he, he believed in me and um, I said oh, absolutely we do it together and this will be out uh, in, um, in Christmas. Uh, just internet, just use.com. I'm really interested in how sort of plugged into the yeah. internet you are. Yeah. Because you have your blog and you have your Twitter. And it, it's for you, do you think the internet's a good thing for the fashion industry? Absolutely. Alors, first of all, I want to tell you, I as, um, always say thanks and please all the people make me feel good in this new career and that's internet people, blogger people. That's why when starting internet I was, this internet huge phenomenon, I was uh, feel the new fresh air come and I say to me, I really, please I want to say thanks to them, please I want to be in contact with them. Second I was feeling the revolution from the bottom, like, I said oh my god what's happening here? If I don't, if I don't was jumping the internet, if I don't start to do my blog, I will feel so such out, out of the world. And this world is really interesting because it made me feel good. It made me feel so happy and so conscious about my my little knowledge about fashion. Then I, when I started blogging, it was such an hard moment because I didn't know very well how. I put just two pictures inside. And said, Oh my, god, oh my god, that's horrendo. What is, what is that? It's nothing. And I understood I should put on all myself. I, and I was thinking maybe somebody can help me. But I didn't. I, uh, I have a, um, Paolo, Paolo Zolo, he worked with me all the time, which is an incredible guy technically. Technically, he's always with me, also, also support me. But I, we did, me and him, but everything comes from my idea, my picture, my so editing, uh, and also I should, I, I'm going to write my text and translate in English, which is not really good for me because uh, and, um, I was thinking also to pay, take, a, um, take a person to translate uh, really well. And somebody make a joke to me and say, hey, your English is not good. And, and I said, listen, what I can do? I want to talk with the um, massive part of people then uh, I prefer to translate in my English because uh, the sense will be the, the same. I want to keep the sense of myself. Then it's, it's a huge, it's a huge, um, uh, really a force but in the beginning. But after, it's, incredible, uh, it, it was, it's an incredible experience because um, it's another, a completely another 
word from magazine is a really democratic, is really in touch with people. You, re you really feel instantly the feedback, which is fantastic because in magazine you don't, you, you, your writer, you feel your writer, but you don't really touch them. And I think uh, this is make a huge revolution in fashion for us. It's a really interesting. I, I'm so glad to be, to be part of this revolution. How has the fashion industry changed yeah. during the time that, that you've been involved? Yeah. I want to tell you one thing before, because you're talking about internet. Uh, I remember when I used to be Chief Album of Vogue, I always see, I mean, the first, the first website that I was looking for it was Show Studio. I, because I featured it, I was uh, put in a magazine because I remember how interesting it was your work at the time, which it was uh, actually 10 years ago, uh, because I was in the, uh, yeah. it was, uh, in the beginning of the century. And uh, I remember when I was so, uh, so surprised how amazing job you did in internet. You know, when is nobody was talking about internet, uh, then uh, that's why I'm so happy to be here today because you made me thinking about the power of the new media it's 10 years ago, actually. Now it's easy to talk because it's already happened. Mm. Uh, internet made this uh, open, the open, open the window, make a contact with the people, in the inside the people. Now where we're going is difficult to say because it still is a big revolution in happen. But uh, I'm so sure the speed is a little bit slow down because uh, and now uh, is a selection moment. After the youth quake, you're going to select uh, strong pieces, you know, to rebuild. Uh, then is a little resetting moment, but it's fantastic. I'm I'm so happy because you feel you feel it. It's change finally. 